Hello and welcome to the lesson KCC Mathematics 2010 paper 2 question number 13. The question is on loci. Part A of the question, using the line AB below, construct the locus of a point P such that angle APB is equal to 90 degrees. So the line is there. Part B of the question, on the same diagram, locate two possible positions of C such that point C is on the locus of P and is equidistant from A and B. So that is the question. So let us go to the first part of the question where we are supposed to use this line to construct the locus of a point P such that angle APB is equal to 90 degrees. Now to solve this question, the first part, we need to realize or to know the property that relates to the diameter and the angle it subtends and the circumference. And this is a property I will explain that on using a circle. Let me just get a circle here. If you have a circle and this is the diameter, according to this property, the diameter, which is AB, subtends an angle of 90 at any point on the circumference. The diameter subtends 90 degrees at any point on the circumference, both on the upper side of that line and on the other side, that is on the lower side of the line. So this diameter is going to subtend an angle of 90. Therefore, for us to construct to ensure that APB is equal to 90, P will lie anywhere on this arc, on both sides of this uh, line AB. So P will lie anywhere there. So therefore, you come to a conclusion that point P will be on this arc and therefore to construct uh, these uh, locus of point P such that it is that is APB is equals to 90 degrees we shall draw or construct a circle with AB as the diameter so that is what you're going to do so let us go directly to constructing that circle so to construct this circle we just need one thing we just need to get the radius. Let me get the radius of this. Um, circle. So I want to get the radius of this circle. So this line is 6.8. Um, so the radius will be 3.4. So I want to mark the center of the circle. Then to construct a circle, I will just need to stand at the center. And uh, with that radius, then I will construct a, a circle. So that circle represents any point on that uh, circumference will now represent the locus of a point P. That is, any angle formed by AB will be 90 degrees on the circumference. So that is the first part. The second part, on the same diagram, locate two possible positions of C such that point C is on the locus of P. It should be on that arc and it should be equidistant from A and B. Now, the part that is going to guide us here is this idea uh, that the locus should be equidistant from A and B. The locus of a point equidistant from two fixed points and in this case the two fixed points are A and B. That is the perpendicular bisector of that line connecting the two points. To construct the perpendicular bisector just take your pair of compass and open it more than half of that line. Then from there mark an arc on the top there. Then down here you mark another arc with the same same radius without changing it you stand on that there without adjusting then cut that arc and cut the other arc that is there so from there take a ruler take a ruler and 
join the point of intersection join point of intersection of those two arcs like that and that represents the locus uh, that is point C which is the locus is on the locus of P you can see now to identify that uh, we want to identify C C should be on the locus of P and the locus of P is that um, circumference and also it should be equidistant from A and C so that point will be represented by this this is the point that is here the point C will be here and then we, we have the other one here now when you look uh, so there will be two positions of C so the first is intersection here so the first one is here and the second one is here when you look at that it, the the two points are equidistant from A and B and they lie on the lockers of P so that is how you're supposed to solve that question thank you